Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So, yeah, it's another video. So if you don't know, on my community post, I said that I'm gonna basically be uploading every day for the rest of August. Um, so yeah, that's cool, I guess. And in today's video, we are gonna be ranking every single Five Nights at Freddy's game. Now, I'm only gonna count the ones that I played, and that's 11 of the 13. I haven't played Freddy in Space 2 or Security Breach Fury Rage, so I won't be counting them on this list. I'll only be counting FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, Sister Location, FNAF 6, UCN, oh yeah, FNAF World, FNAF VR, FNAF AR. I think that's only 10 because I think I also counted Security Breach, but that's not how obvious. Okay, so yeah, this list is only 10 games because I'm not counting Fury, Rage, and uh, Freddy in Space 2 because I haven't played those two things. And obviously, Security Breach is not out yet. So, let's get started with number 10. In number 10, and sadly, number 10, we have... Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Yep, I just said that. FNAF 3 is my least favorite out of this- out of these games. Here's why. Okay, it has a intro- intro- it has a nice story, I guess. Um, it has amazing characters, Springtrap, the Phantoms. But what brings the game down so much is the gameplay. It's so boring. Literally, all you do is just go against Springtrap, I guess. Because the Phantoms, they can't even kill you. So, they're not really a big deal. So, it's all just Springtrap. Like, yeah, it gets harder. But still, it's, like, really boring. And just not unique. Because there's only one animatronic that can kill you. So, it's not that fun. It's still a good game. I don't hate FNAF 3. I just don't really like the gameplay. I love everything else about the game. Springtrap, the phantoms, the story. The springlock thing. Like, it's an amazing game, but... It sadly is my least favorite out of the games, so... Sorry, FNAF 3. In number 9, we have Five Nights at Freddy's 4. This game is pretty good. It's way better than 4, I mean 3. But what it has it down here is that... Oh boy, this game can make you uh, hurt your ears. Because the whole thing about this game is listening for the breathing and stuff of like Nightmare Bonnie and Nightmare Chica. And I guess all the others, but mainly for these two. And, you know, it's really quiet, so you'd have to put your, like, volume really high. And you know what that means? If you get jump-scared, you get your ears bleeding. It's still a good game, it's just that one thing I just don't like about the game, because it hurts my ears. Literally, this is why I barely play FNAF 4, because I always end up killing my ears. On night two. I, I mean, I'm, uh, uh, yeah, you didn't hear that. Um, but, yeah, it's still a good game. It has amazing characters. Um, uh, I feel like more could have been done with Nightmare. Like, he's cool, I, I guess. He's just kind of boring. Like, like, no, I'm not gonna say that he's boring because he's a reskin. Because there's, like, reskins like, uh, Golden Freddy. He's, he's an amazing character. He has lots of lore. But Nightmare has nothing to him. Like, Nightmare literally has nothing. He's just... There. He's just... Basically just a reskin of Nightmare Fredbear. And does, like, the exact same thing. So, that's why I don't really like Nightmare. And why FNAF 4 is down here. Like, the game is good, just a few flaws. But overall, a pretty good game.
And number eight, we have Ultimate Custom Night. Ultimate Custom Night is a cool game. It brings back lots of classic characters like Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, toy animatronics. But I feel like the roster could have been more better and not just have some random picks like Trash and Gang and Old Man Consequences. Because here's some I here's some characters that I would have loved to have in the game. Um, so yeah. Funtime Freddy, Withered Freddy and Withered Foxy. Nightmare Chica as her own character. Nightmare Foxy. Maybe they could have put Nightmare Bonnie with Nightmare Chica and could have been like a duo. And there's like obviously more characters that could have been added, but I get this was made in like clip team, so you can't really make it that big, but still some of the character choices could have been better. But other than that, the game's really good. It's challenging, which it's not so challenging that it's impossible. It's challenging that it's pretty fun. Well, besides 50-20 mode, that mode sucks. Well, it's good, it's just I hate it. I also think Daco hates it. It's hard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we... What? Yeah. But overall, UCN's a really good game. It was basically the last, like, canon FNAF game that Scott made. Because after that, he did, um, Freddy in Space 2 and Fury's Rage. So this was basically the last game that he made for, like, the main, like, timeline of FNAF, which is... It just adds m more likability to UCN. And there are some cool things in this. Like, uh... Samurai... Foxy... Anime Toy... Chica... Yeah, never mind about that. But still, the game is really cool. Even brought voices to new characters like Jacko Chica, the two withers in the games. In the game, I mean, um, Foxy got a voice. That's cool. Sadly, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica did not get a voice. And what's odd is that Freddy was actually planned to get a voice, but he didn't. It got scrapped, which is really odd. Same for Toy Bonnie. He was going to get a voice in the game, game but he didn't. Weird. But still, like, most of the characters that are in this game got voices, like Scrap Trap, all the rock stars, and oh boy, Rockstar Freddy's voice. Beautiful. But overall, this game is really good, and it was it's just really good. It, yeah. So that's why UCN is in number eight. Now let's move on to number seven. In number 7, we have Five Nights at Freddy's 6 slash Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. This game is interesting to say. It was not advertised, I guess, with anything. Scott even said, oh yeah, FNAF 6 cancelled. Then he released this and uh, yep, th this is FNAF 6, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. And this game brought a lot to the FNAF, to the table of FNAF. And yeah, like we had amazing characters like the rock stars, the scraps, the mediocre melodies, posh pizzeria, trash in the game. Like this game has a lot of characters. If only Funko could have done that with the merch, you know, actually make a lot of the characters. Okay, um, enough about ranting on Funko, am I right? But overall, this game is really good. It was a good conclusion to, like, the main story of Five Nights at Freddy's before VR and everything after that, I guess. U UCN, I, I mean, that was a after 6, I guess, but, y you know, that's UCN. But, yeah, and, like, the ending to the game was really good, and I'm assuming... All of you have heard about before because this game's almost four years old, so you have to have 
heard of it. The Henry Connection Terminated thing. It's awesome. I love this thing so much. It's it's just amazing. Like FNAF 6 is amazing. I like I know lots of people hated it back when it came out, and that's sort of what made FNAF lose its popularity. Hey, FNAF's back with popularity, so that's cool. But overall, FNAF 6 is really good and definitely a favorite of mine, even though it's only in number 7. I love all the games on this list, and I for sure love FNAF 6. In number 6, we have Sister Location. This game brought, um, different stuff to the table. Not counting FNAF World, because that's a spinoff. So, yeah, we won't be counting that, um, with, like, what I'm talking about right now. But, compared to the first four games, it brought a lot to the table. These FNAF 1 through 4, you just stay in the same room. But on Sister Location, you can actually move around the place. You can go to, like, the Circus Control, the Ballora Gallery thing, the Funtime Auditorium, the Break Room, Parts and Service thing, uh, the Scooper. Like, it is awesome. And this is basically the first FNAF game, not counting World, to have voice acting. That's not Scott. Phone Guy's not counting, because that's just Scott. But this voice brought some cool voices like the god funtime freddy kellen goff oh my god i cannot explain how good kellen goff is with funtime freddy like it's so good like oh my oh my i don't even know what to say but this game is really good it has everything perfect and it's overall a really good game and, yeah, like, I have no complaints about FNAF Sister Location. It's just really good. So, let's go on to number four. In number five, we have a choice that's gonna make people hurt me, but Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery. Yes, I like this game more than Sister Location, and that's my opinion. Oh no, they're outside. Okay, so I just got, like, beaten up by everyone that exists because I like FNAF AR more than Social Location, but whatever. This game is pretty cool. I love the whole AR thing, and this game brought back some cool characters like the FNAF 1 gang. Endo 01 is here. And, yeah, and the, this game has some really cool skins like Frostbear. Well, he's not really a skin, but still. Chocolate Bonnie, you know. They're all here. Now, yes, I do know that there is lots of problems with this game, but that still doesn't make me hate it. Like, yeah, I hate the prices on stuff in the shop, but I still love this game, and I just want to see where they'll go with the whole thing next. And that's why FNAF AR is in number five. So let's move on to number four. In number four, we have Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Oh boy, the hype behind this game was crazy. The trailer only came out like two months after the first game, and then one month later we got the game. Like, it was crazy. This game brought stuff. It has a lot of new characters, like the Withers, what legends, the toys. Puppet, Balloon Boy, you know, they're all here. And this game has, you know it, no doors, which is cool and makes it more harder. And that's why I like it. It's the perfect amount of difficulty, and it has really good characters. Well, besides Toy Bonnie. He's Toy Bonnie, nobody likes him. I'm just kidding. I don't hate Toy Bonnie. I just pretend to hate it. I mean, nothing. Uh, yeah, I hate Toy Bonnie. Uh, yeah, but overall, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is 
really good, and it was a great sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's, even though it's a prequel. Still, this is a great second game to this amazing series, and I, I just hope to see the games get more better and better from now on, which they obviously are with Security Breach. Cool Bug Factors! One day you will have to answer. In number three, we have FNAF World. Yes, I love this game that much. This game had a lot of hate when it first came out. And when I mean a lot of hate, I mean a lot of hate. Like, oh my god, like so many people hated it when it came out. Now people love it. And overall, this game is amazing. It's an amazing RPG game. I love the whole thing about cartoony FNAF and it brings back every character from the series besides Withered Golden Freddy and Nightmare Mangle but overall FNAF World is a masterpiece it's amazing and it's one of the best FNAF games and I, I just love this game so much so let's go to number two In number two, we have the game that started it all, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh boy, there is so much good about this game. The atmosphere, the creepiness, the nostalgia, the characters, the lore, everything. It's all amazing. It has amazing characters, like the best FNAF character, Bonnie. We all know he's the best we all love Bonnie. Bonnie is Bonnie. He is the best. And this game is amazing. Like, it it really hits the atmosphere, the creepiness, really good. And I just love this game so much because this is the game that got me into FNAF over seven years ago. So obviously, I'm going to love this game so much. FNAF 1 just... It... It means a lot to me, and I just don't like it when people say that they don't like it. He's like, yeah, but people have opinions, but still, this game, it, it just has a really big place in my heart. And if it weren't for this game, I probably would not have liked FNAF as much as I do now. Well, as much as I do, whatever. But still, this game means a lot to me, and... I'll always love Five Nights at Freddy's 1. It's, it's a masterpiece. So, if it isn't obvious now, what's gonna be in number one? Let's go on to number one. Yeah! And in number one, we have Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. This game is amazing. I love this game, and I love that they did it in VR, because that just adds so much to the awesomeness of this game. I love this game. And it's, it's just amazing, like, we we got Glitch Trap, he's cool, and it brought back FNAF 1, 2, and 3. Um, it brought back other characters from, like, 4, Sister Location, Helpies here, and it has amazing DLC being Curse of Dreadbear. Curse of Dreadbear is God tier, and if you don't agree with me, I will do something to you. I'm joking, but still, Curse of Dreadbear is awesome. And I, I count Curse of Dreadbear and VR as the same thing, so that's why it's up here. But this game's amazing, and... Like, it, I don't- Steel Wool did a great job. This is the first FNAF game that wasn't made by Scott, and it was amazing! Oh my god, this game is awesome, and it, it's just really good, and I'm just very excited to see the future of FNAF with Security Breach. And even though I said some, like, nitpicks on uh, three points, Oh boy, you messed it up now! Oh, shut up, Orange! 
Uh, hey everybody, it's me, King Bonnie, and Orange. We wanted to make a little announcement. We are going to be having our own videos. Jeez, what is up with your voice today? Shut up, you do the thing, then. Ah, uh, well then, like I, like I was saying, we are going to be having our own review videos, where we just talk about stuff, so... Yeah, we just wanted to drop on by and uh, tell you guys that. Get out of my video. Shut up. I can do whatever I want. You literally broke my voice just a few seconds ago. How about you eat my a I still love all of these games. And I always will love Five Nights at Freddy's. It's changed my life. And... Like, yeah, I'll always love these games. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome.